when I ordered my Mancera or when my Mancera fragrance come through a more cafe, they sent me four free samples. Two of them samples I've already covered on this channel, Tonka Cola and Intense Red Tobacco or Red Tobacco Intense. So I thought I'd just do quick first impressions on Jasmine Rose and on Cosmic Pepper. Right, I know that Cosmic Pepper is a new release, but I haven't got a clue if Jasmine Rose is or if it's an older fragrance, but I haven't smelt this. I don't know nothing about neither of these. We're gonna dive straight into it. Is good YouTube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back my name is Mikey Cologne and if you're tuned in thank you very much for doing so I know I always say this but I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers for all the support to everybody that drops a comment down I love every single one of you and if you're new here and you're stopping by for the first time and you do enjoy my content press the subscribe button plus hit the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review at a later day like i've said i've got two samples here these come straight from mancera so they're legit samples and i'm just going to get straight into it i'm going to spray cosmic pepper first if i do enjoy the smell i will look up the notes and then the same for jasmine rose if you have tried cosmic pepper or jasmine rose drop a comment down below let me tell you something that are more cafe what a stunning fragrance that is. I cannot wait to do an update review on that fragrance because that thing, it is a great gourmand fragrance. It really is. If you love gourmand fragrances, a more cafe. Right, anyway. And I'm going to go straight on skin today. No messing about. I'm just going to spray it and we're going to get it done. couple of sprays i would have thought with the name cosmic pepper that is going to be a spicy peppery bomb i'm getting something fresh citrusy fresh spicy but Not overly spicy. Like this is not a full on with the name Cosmic Pepper. This is not a full on spicy or heavy spicy fragrance. There is I'm picking up lemon straight away. So there's a nice bit of citrus here. It's very bright. It's masculine. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. It's got an aromatic side. So citrusy, fresh, bright, aromatic clean a little bit of sweetness thrown in it's nice it is nice but it's not what i was expecting to be honest with you this is coming across like this is a mass appealing fragrance this is coming across designerish so to speak like a high-end designer fragrance where it's going to be easy to wear it's going to be mass appealing it's going to be if you want to smell good on the go and you don't want to overthink things cosmic pepper will have you smelling good to me it's an all-year-round fragrance i think this would be great in the hotter weather plus i think it'd be great in the cooler weather this is gym safe this is office safe i think you can dress this up or dress it down yeah that lemon's really popping this has definitely got lemon in it or bergamot Sometimes I can't tell the two apart, to be honest with you. Let's look up the notes. This is a very nice fragrance, but out of the two, like, I was looking at Cosmic Pepper and I was looking at Amour Cafe. I'm, I'm just putting it out there right now. I'm so glad that I blind bought Amour Cafe out of the two. This is nice. This is on the this is on the other end of the spectrum, where Amour Cafe is warm and gourmandish. This is fresh, citrusy and clean. 
So two different fragrances completely. I'm going to look up the notes. Right, head notes. Pink and black pepper. Fizzy combination of lemon and tangerine. Wild sage. Mid notes or heart notes. Black pepper, rose from Damas. A touch of oud. I'm not getting any oud as of yet. And in the base, you've got tonka bean, sensual amber, oak moss, white musk, and deep labdanum. Right, with the notes here, especially as it goes from mid to base, with the labdanum, with the sensual amber, more than likely, this fragrance will probably warm up, sweeten up. It might go slightly mossy and earthy because of the oak moss. And I reckon the longer this sits, maybe that oud might come across or put in a woodsy aroma. I'm now I'm getting, I'm starting to get a touch of that rose, but it's not a jammy rose. It's coming across more of like a fresh stemmy rose, if that makes sense. This is nice, very versatile. And like I say, Cosmic Pepper, is a mass appealing fragrance. If you haven't, people say Mancera and Montel's are like gateways into the niche world. I don't think that. A lot of the fragrances that I own from their brand are knock out the parks. I don't just think they're a gateway. I think some of them are of very good niche quality. And to me, this is more on the designer side of things. Kind of a dumb reach but in a good way. And when I say dumb reach, I don't mean, oh, it's crap, nah, don't know, I don't mean that. Dumb reach to me is a good smelling fragrance when you don't want to overthink it and you're on the go. What would I rate this out of 10? I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10, Cosmic Pepper. Yeah, that rose is now starting to come through and now a woodsy aroma or a woodsy undertone is there. Very nice. Now I'm getting a little bit more of the tangerine. The lemons calmed down a little bit and I'm getting that tangerine starting to come forward. That's good. That is good. Solid 7.5. Right now we are going to go for Jasmine Rose on the other hand, of course. Like I say, drop a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried the new releases from Mansara? I believe uh, Montel have got a new release. And I think it, it's something to do with Neroli. I can't think of the name. I see it the other day and I thought to myself, it sounds interesting. Cool. Whew, damn, that's strong. Cool, no. Whoa. I can taste that shit. <sighs> Musky, floral... A little bit dirty, a little bit soily, a little bit earthy. It's got this strong floral presence to it. And it is strong. I mean, I could smell cosmic pepper when I sprayed it on, but this is just taken over the whole air in this space. It is that strong. And there is a dirty edge to this. And it's obviously probably coming from that jasmine. Soily, earthy, semi-sweet, a little bit fresh, getting the rose, getting the dirty jasmine, and it is quite heavy on the florals. I do not enjoy this whatsoever. Like this fragrance is not for me. I'm putting it out there right now. To me, it smells like shit. Like, not like to me, it smells like crap. Oh no. Poor. I'm looking up the notes. Because I'm intrigued to see what's in it. But damn, that shit smells. Whoa. No. No. That is like, to me, that smells old lady-ish. Grandma. Nothing. Of... Grandmas don't take offence. And there was none injured in the process of making this review. But this, to me, is coming across oldish. Dusty, damp car with a little bit of freshness.
In the top, you've got pear, grass, lemon, mandarin, orange. In the mid, you've got jasmine, rose, orange blossom, and patchouli. And in the base, you've got white musk, oak moss, and cedar wood. I don't like this at all. No, no, no way. Yeah, cosmic pepper's really nice. It, I tell you what, it's, it's kind of reminding me of like one of Aaron Terence Hughes's citrus fragrances. Not the same, but it's it's reminding me of something from Aaron Terence Hughes's collection. One of his citrus fragrances, one of his fresher fragrances. And I can't pinpoint it, but it is. It's got something in this that's making me think Aaron Terence Hughes. I'll try and think of it. But right, Jasmine Rose, that thing is not for me. I mean, if you enjoy that fragrance, fair enough, each to their own. But for me, that is trash. That is a, I would, if I blind bought that, Jasmine Rose, if I blind bought Jasmine Rose and I smell it, I would be completely gutted. I think I'd smash the bottle across the floor because it stinks. And that's the bottom line. And that is my own personal opinion. Right, people, let me know which one out of Mansara is your favourite. Which ones are worth checking out? I still haven't got my nose on our Oud Lemon Mint. I heard that there's no Oud in it. Is that true? Do I need to get my hands on it? Is it worth checking out? I know it's that's been around for a few years. But anyway, people, thank you for sticking with me. They were just quick first impressions of the two samples. I was eager to try them and I thought, why not just do it on camera? You know, just something to do. Anyway, people, remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I'll see you lot on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.